Okay, now our piece has had a chance to dry. You can see it's fully dried, the paint's dried on here. So what we're going to do is going to go back to a two brush blending method. We've got two brushes here. We need to be two clean brushes. We need one for the enamel thinners and one for some water. Okay, so as I was saying, what we're going to need to do is we take our piece, we get some regular tap water on a brush, and we'll just moisten the surface with some water. Don't have to worry about being too neat with this, and what will happen is this will reactivate the weather uh, the paint on the surface. We grab ourselves a cocktail stick, and then what we do as we gently just scratch the surface of where we want the paint to chip away Might take a few. so we just basically just scratch up the surface this is completely at your control so you can chip as much as you like or as little as you like so like I said the decal fix mixed with the paint just basically gives you the ability to take away the paint surface a little bit. So you can scratch this as much as you want. What we'll do is we just leave this now for a few seconds. We'll, uh, soak up some of this water. The second brush. Right. So what you need to do is you just need to leave this to uh, dry up a little bit, let all the water evaporate off, you can accelerate this process with a hairdryer or whatever you have at hand that can blow hot air just uh, dry this off quickly ok there we go, so now We've got our paint chipped. We'll then take a second brush and we'll take our Humbrol enamel thinners and we'll just moisten the brush with thinners. What will happen is you just work this over the scratches and as you can see, work them in a in one way, one line. And when you're happy, and this should chip away the, the paint as well. So when you're happy with the effect you're getting, just get another brush out, a slightly more stiffer brush. So as you can see, what's happening is so as I apply these thinners is chipping away our paint and reactivating the weathering pigments beneath and bringing them to the surface of our weathering. When you're happy with how it's turning out, we'll just get some water and just re-dilute the thinners to stop the reaction. happy with how it's turning out and you can keep going back in um, adding and taking away the paint and the thinners until you're happy and how it's turning out for you so I'm just going to go back in with a bit more of these thinners because I'm not quite happy with it yet so we'll just get our cocktail stick Scrape a bit more paint away around this area here. And we'll just work this around, which will bring our pigments again nicely to the surface. This also has the added effect of actually chipping away the paint as well, slightly. So obviously 
the more you scratch up this surface, the more the weathering pigments are going to come nicely to the surface. You can go as heavy or as light as you like. So this is my preferred method. And as you can see, you, it's completely under your control, so you can remove or not remove as much of the paint as you like. So this is a little bit better than the decal fix idea, uh, the mascal idea, sorry, so as you can see this is two different ways of doing it, this is a very corroded way, so you've got a lot of chipped paint around the outside, where this is more of a worn paint, like it's been sandblasted or eroded away over a period of time, so this is slightly more heavier than this, but you can keep going in and, like I say, just keep going in, applying more enamel thinners, scratch up the surface a little bit, bring the thinners to the surface, draw them out, like so. So once that paint is scratched, the enamel thinners will provide a conduit for the, the weathering pigments to leach forward. We go that's a little bit of how two little methods you can use for corroding metal surfaces so if you like this video or enjoyed it or found it helpful in any way please feel free to comment rate and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already so thank you very much for watching and until next time happy wargaming guys